In a time of great turmoil, when things are looking at their worst, one game will rise up to help ease our burdens by letting us eat the shit out of our fellow man. Man Eater. Discover the spiritual successor to the great ideas and flawed execution of 2006's Jaws Unleashed as Tripwire brings you an absolutely standard run-of-the-mill open-world action RPG with the slight twist that it all takes place underwater and you are a giant shark, meaning your only real way of interacting with anything is to either eat or slam your body into it, which makes it pretty amazing that it's still more fun than 90% of its competitors. I mean, to be fair, I could literally do this all day. Experience the almost total lack of a story in Maneater, where your only motivation is your ceaseless animal lust for flesh and the only semblance of a narrative is a loose documentary frame story about the world's most Cajun stereotype and his disappointing fail son. Boy, I couldn't catch in a diaper. Who's made it his holy crusade to hunt all sharks out of existence after one killed his father. And whose epic tale you will absolutely not care about at all as you wonder why they even bothered while you swallow a person whole. But hey, I guess it's worth it to justify hiring Chris Parnell as the narrator. Pulling off a successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. Also, where's my GTA-style fish radio? How are you not gonna have the Hall & Oates Maneater song in this game? Explore the diverse bodies of water your titular man-eater calls home and eat literally everything in your way to add to your bulk as you scour the corners of every level for the game's 1,000 collectibles, where the vast majority of the gameplay is just trying to figure out which tunnel to go into to bite the next box, or struggling with the breaching mechanics to try and reach a license plate, until you get into a fish battle and 90% of the challenge is fighting with the camera. Then, eat enough people to call up the Shark Hunters, where you'll just repeatedly smash into their boats while hammering on the dodge button, until you either end up with an upgrade or get bored and get away easily, all while watching the frame rate drop to single digits on consoles. In gameplay that's basically Echo the Dolphin mixed with the Test Your Might minigame from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Level up your cartilage in the world's first shark PG as you turn all the precious proteins and hazardous material you've been binging into ridiculous sci-fi upgrades that will have you unleashing clouds of poison, covering your skin in bone armor, or teleporting around like the goddamn Nightcrawler. In a system that transforms the game from one where you have to pay careful attention to what part of the food chain you're on, to an absolute power fantasy where you destroy massive ships without your health bar ever dropping. Which might seem like a problem, but honestly, did you really want your game about being a shark realistic, or did you want to taser a sperm whale? Yeah, no, I'm 100% fine with this. So strap on that harpoon and get ready for the real Shark Week as you leave your earthly troubles behind and become a prehistoric predator with a brain that looks like ovaries. In a unique title that's pretty much the definition of a B-game. And in a world of multi-million dollar disappointments, maybe some fresh blood is exactly what we need. Starring Prawn Stars are your winning son, Cyril Figgis, and Deadly shark doo 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 Deadly shark doo 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 Shark Assassin's Creek Jaw Holla I think the poet Ladies Love Cool James put it best Tell us what you'd like to hear in my honest voice in the comments below Tambourine of Shame Bell of Shame I see you're a man of culture as well I am Charlotte, we now be Woody a Windu. You want stars? I'll give you stars. When you poop in your dreams, you poop for real. <laughs>